many cutbacks have been made in, in the space program lately. Uh, how would you justify to the taxpayer the, the space program? I think it's very easy to justify it because you can prove it from a commercial point of view that it, it has had a lot more benefits than the money that has gone into it. Plus, you certainly can uh, justify it if you're interested as an American in being able to hold up your head in pride and to the rest of the world be very readily justified. Pride apparently has uh, been an awfully expensive uh, sort of thing. What are the Russians doing now in compared to us in space? They're spending probably four or five times the amount we are in space. They seem to feel that pride is worth a great deal. Tell me this, are we, are we far away from uh, uh, total exploration of the entire universe in space if we keep up uh, at our present pace? Well, I think it's just around the corner. We certainly are at a point where we can start deep, ex deep uh, space exploration. Um. What we want to do is to offer the people in the state of Texas a choice for a change. In other words, we have formed a new political party. We are going to work for a plurality now and then force Mr. Benson and Mr. Bush, for example, to simply split the conservative vote and we're going to form our coalition. I think the blacks and Chicanos are tired of being kicked around in the state. The youth in the state here have absolutely no allegiance to the two-party system. That uh, when Mr. Yarborough lost, a number of people were just totally disenchanted with the political process. And I think we can form this type of union and, and, and have a very good race. We are going to uh, have a senatorial candidate, which will be announced shortly. And we're going to challenge the court actions this year to see if we can get on the ballot. You yourself say it's going to be a radical caucus tonight. Are you revolutionaries? Uh, not in the sense of being violent. Our, our platform is totally nonviolent, and we do embrace fully the Bill of Rights and the U.S. Constitution. When we use the term radical, we use a Latin word, which means getting to the core of the problem. Well, I've heard very little comments or dissension concerning my re-election to state chairman. Uh, it has been announced uh, in the press that uh, Senator Tower had recommended me for a federal judgeship in the Eastern District of Texas. But I have pledged that I would run the Republican Party through the November 3rd elections. I did this more than 15 months ago. I've been urged by all of the party leadership uh, to run for re-election as state chairman. The job has not been finished or completed, mm -hmm. and I intend to, to be a candidate for state chairman on next Tuesday. Uh, well, Linda Johnson, of course, I would say is the number one Democrat, so to speak, uh, recognized throughout the United States, and of course, in our state. He will address the, the delegates assembled at a banquet uh, the night before the convention. Now, if he will attend the convention, I am not aware of it. Behind the scenes, behind the speech and behind the formal meetings, what is his role? What is his communication with you? Have you talked well, with him about party matters? No, much? no, very, very little, except to the extent that he is vitally interested in all the Democratic nominees being elected, and he's offered to do whatever he could to be helpful.
Going back to the strike fund, it's my duty as president of this local union to tell you that the $120 million that we have in the UAW International Strike Fund, the way it's set up at the present time, will probably last four to four and a half weeks. And I'm going to tell you what was said to us when we were in Detroit. General Motors is not so big that they can't be brought to their knees. When you got more money in the government, you're pretty darn big. But they're not so big if we stick together okay. and we be union members and we do our fair share and we accept our obligation and we carry that picket sign. And after four weeks, you're going to be asked to carry that picket sign without any money. I urged a resolution by this convention that the administration make it graphically clear that there will be no total withdrawal from Vietnam under any circumstances until such time as we have arranged for the return of American prisoners of war now held by the Vietnamese, that we make it graphically clear to the government of North Vietnam that we are not about to buy peace at the expense of these young men and their families. And secondly, I urge that <laughs> that they call on both the National Congress and on our state legislators here at home to be guided by some obvious principles of fair play in considering congressional and legislative redistricting. I realize this, but there's plenty of little jobs that we the little people can do, but we'll bring this big corporation to their knees if we stick together. So all I'm telling you, Of the delegates to the convention feel the same way. You don't change horses in the middle of the stream. I feel that they will all basically lend their support to me to accomplish the job that we've set out to do.